So hey everybody, I thought I would uh, do a Power Me Up 15. I had a Power Me Up radio show a year or two ago and I thought I'd start doing some Facebook Lives here, Power Me Up posts. And um, I just got off a call with a client this morning and we were doing a lot of work around the various goals that she had for herself. And I said, you know, it's been four sessions now and we keep coming back to your mom and how she can impact you and rob you of your power. And so I started saying what this next two week period homework is gonna be is really focusing on switching out this relationship with your mom. So when I work with people, um, I work in, everything I do is energetic and I teach people not only how to clear the beliefs within them that are creating something, I also teach them how to um, manipulate, if you will, <laughs> other people energetically with your thoughts, your energy field, and, and love, and just directing energy a certain way. And it's really potent. It's really powerful. It really works. I work a lot with executives, CEOs, and meetings and things like that. I work a lot with um, parents and teenagers, and it always gets the results we're looking for. So one of the things that I want to do in this little 15-minute uh, training is to first set up a, an awareness of how everything works energetically, right? We're all energy bundles, okay? And um, this person, and I'm going to talk, you know, uh, in, in family relationships, but this doesn't matter. You can apply what I'm going to teach you right now to um, any relationship in your life, kind of including the relationship with yourself because you do have a relationship with yourself, right? There's like the you in your head and then there's the you in, you know, your life and the you in your head usually says some pretty shitty stuff about the you in your life, right? <laughs> really impacting your success. Anyway, so um, the, the, the ender, energy bundles of you and this other person, when you come together, um, one plus one in the energetic world is not two. One plus one is 10, right? What you're bringing to the table, what that person brings to the table, it comes together, it collides, and there's a little bit of an atomic bomb that takes off. So um, that's the first piece of information that I want you to, to land on and lock into. The second piece of information, which is getting really woo-woo for you guys, um, is that in the, the paradigm of quantum physics, which is kind of what I live in and work in and teach, um, that nothing is real, right? Everything is an illusion and everything is a creation of your mind, the consciousness, the observer. So when you are stuck in a um, uh, challenging relationship with someone and you think that they're controlling you, um, the, the challenge is to own that you're the creator of it. This person doesn't even exist. They're a hologram. They're an illusion. You've given them the script. You've given them the role in your movie of your life. And so the work to change that person happens in here because you're the creator of it, okay? So at first people are like, fuck you, that's not true, you know, that pisses me off, right? And it's like, well, yeah, but as long as you need to say, fuck you, that's not true, you're pissing me off, you're gonna be a victim, sorry. So I'm offering you a way out, I'm offering you a solution, and you can play my game for a little while and see what happens, you got nothing to lose, you got an awful lot to gain. So what I do is I share with people this concept that, all right, why? are you giving this person this script? Why are you even putting them in your life, right? Okay, now if it's a parent, right, that person's there for, for a reason, obviously. However, why are you giving them a script that um, in this person's case, you know, there was um, just always constant criticism, just a constant eroding of my client's self-esteem because of the things that were being said. So I said, okay, so I've heard you talk about your mom a lot. And I will say that I've never heard you say anything kind about her. Hmm. Okay. And that you've been pretty critical of everything that she said and did. Hmm. Okay. And that you never really accept who she is and what she is and what she's doing. Hmm. Okay. So if what is happening out here in this illusion is a direct reflection of what's happening inside, then why don't you own that you are being exactly to her what you what she is to you and there was definitely a light bulb going on saying okay i see that i get that so um the thing to do if you're going to shift a relationship is to get really 
serious with yourself and um, own how are you keeping this person in a box of perception of how you perceive that person to be with your own judgments, your own projections, your own expectations, your own conclusions, and how are you rejecting them, right? From being anything different. How are you preventing them from ever being anything different? Because as long as you see that person as having, you know, a critical eye on you of never giving you any feedback, you go into that experience with the expectation that that's what they're going to do. So this is where you start getting into the universal laws. Well, the law of expectation says that whatever you expect to happen will happen. Okay, so hmm, what came first, the chicken or the egg? If every time you connect with this person and you're expecting them to be an asshole, you're expecting them to be critical, you're expecting them to be judgmental, well, gosh, they don't have any opportunity to show up in any different way in the screen of your life. The script, you know, you're, you're not giving them any other script than to be critical, judgmental, and a pain in your ass and make you feel like shit when you get off the phone with them. So owning... Where am I expecting them to be that way? Can I uncreate and destroy that expectation? So here's a little, it's a weird clearing phrase. Um, and you can learn about this at theclearingstatement.com. This is access consciousness. So just say yes when I ask you these questions. So everywhere that you are carrying projections, and listen to what I'm saying, all right, what I'm asking you to uncreate. Everywhere that you are carrying projections about this person, expectations about this person, separations about them, meaning you're, you're separate from them, you know, you don't have control over them, um, rejections about this person, judgments and conclusions about this person. That's a whole lot of stuff, right? Projections, expectations, separations, rejections, judgments and conclusions that you have about this person and this relationship. Are you willing to uncreate and destroy? Just say yes. And I'm going to say a weird phrase. It's going to clear it for you. Good, bad, right, wrong, pod, pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. Everywhere that you um, label everything that this person does as being a certain whatever it is, right? You know, whether it's mean, whether it's judgmental, whether it's dismissive, patronizing, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, everywhere that you choose to label that consistently, will you uncreate and destroy that pattern in yourself? Yes, good, bad, right, wrong, pod, pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. So what we're doing is we're trying to get to the foundation of what's inside of you that's making this creation keep happening in your holographic experience of your life, right? We got to go inside here to change what's in here to make that external thing. The second piece, so, so you want to write down all the ways that you've been mean to that person, all the ways that you've been critical to that person, all the ways or to something else in your life. Get rid of that and then this other thing will begin to dissolve away miraculously and things will change. Um, so the other thing to ask yourself is what is the gift that you get from having this relationship? There's a lesson to be learned here. There is something that your higher consciousness has placed this programming this experience into your life for for you to learn from so that you can advance in this lifetime right so sit down and say what kinds of things have I learned from this person in this case having had a very critical mother my client learned that she could find her source of love from within herself that's a good thing that's a gift right we all need that she also learned that she can be independent and create a life independent and free of her parents support that's a great thing to learn in your life um, you know she's also learned that she's had to seek solutions like hiring me as her coach to find you know and to soften and to find solutions for things that were challenging her that's a good thing right so go into a little bit of a, a deep dive to say to yourself why have I created this person what are the lessons that I need to learn and then to just say, whatever these lessons are, known and unknown, I choose now to integrate them with ease and speed and grace, right? And I choose to do that now. Anything in the way of that, I uncreate and destroy. Good, bad, right, wrong, pod, pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. So by 
having this conversation with yourself, you can identify what is it that I need to integrate. When I integrate it, the lessons learned, boink, the challenge goes away, the asshole disappears. <laughs> or the assholeness in a person who's not going to disappear in my life because they're my mother or my father, but that quality about them that really pisses me off disappears. So this is a very, very helpful thing. And I want to check the time. Okay. Um, so the, the first thing is to, you know, acknowledge you're creating it, um, to acknowledge that when you enter into an experience with this person, a conversation with this person and exposure to this person with expectation that they're going to be an asshole, you're guaranteed they're going to be an asshole. So start switching it out and start playing. How can this be different? And ask, live in the question, how can this be different? How can this relationship get easier? How can I change to be a different creator in this experience? How can I have more ease in this relationship? How can I feel more fulfilled when I walk away? How can I feel peaceful and empowered, right, in their, in their presence? Ask questions. The universe, God, source, will begin to show up with solutions for you, with answers for you, with new um, things that you learn. You go on YouTube and suddenly you see a YouTube video that starts, uh, you know, gives you a strategy. So you go to a Bambi Thompson thing and you, you know, find some solutions. So whatever it is, um, start living in the question and start recognizing that you've got to change the energy that you show up with when you show up so that you can, um, you know, create something different and you can let them resonate with something different. Because if you show up every time with black energy, they're going to expect black energy. So they're going to come charged up, defended up, ready to go to battle, right? If today forward, you start showing up with pink energy, they're going to be a little bit baffled, a little bit confused. They're going to be a little bit disarmed and they're going to stop expecting that they have to come in ready for battle and they're going to start showing up differently. It's really cool when you start working with quantum physics and the energy and the energetics of human relationship. I love doing human relationship work with people. It's potent, it's powerful, and it really, really works well. So um, if you're, you know, if you're challenged with this, go, go to my website, BambiThompson.com, B-A-M-B-I-T-H-O-M-P-S-O-N.com. And, um, you know, grab a strategy session. It's totally complimentary. It's my gift to you to bring me a challenge and I'm going to give you some tips and we're going to see like how much is this relationship impacting you? You know, if you hemorrhage your life force energy over and over and over because of a spouse, an adolescent, a boss, a parent, a friend, get yourself a strategy session and let's explore how we can change that for you. Because I'll tell you what, when I change my clients relationships with these toxic people or these challenging people, their whole lives blow wide open because they're no longer hemorrhaging their life force energy. So I hope this is helpful. I hope I've given you some tools and, um, you know, try it, check it out, write down a list of how are you being mean and keeping this person in a box. They cannot change as long as you expect them to be a certain way. So get rid of your projections your expectations of them, your separations from them, your rejections of them, your judgments of them, and your conclusions about them. Uncreate and destroy it all, and you'll start to see a change. Have a great day. Bye.